21-year-old Tommy Gray is behind bars for fatally shooting 26-year-old Keelan Woods. At just before 3pm on Saturday the 9th of December, authorities responded to the Red Roof Inn Hotel, located at 3017 West Coliseum Boulevard in Fort Wayne, Indiana on reports of shots fired. When officers arrived at the scene, they found Killen Woods of Chicago, Illinois in a critical condition suffering from gunshot wounds to his torso. Officers provided medical assistance until paramedics arrived. He was then transported to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. Detectives canvassed the area and spoke with witnesses and reviewed surveillance videos. Authorities said at least 20 ServPro employees coming from Chicago, Illinois and Louisville, Kentucky to complete work on the Red Roof Inn were involved in a fight before the fatal shooting. The fight was sparked by a supervisor of the Chicago crew confronting the Louisville crew about not getting work done. During the fight, Tommy chased Killen and his brother near the storage pods on the property. Killen's brother told police that Tommy fired at him and missed, then shot at Killen causing him to collapse. Tommy then fired several more shots. Killen's cousin told police he ran up to Tommy and confronted him after the shooting, hitting him in the head with a rock. Tommy was knocked to the ground and struck repeatedly with a rock. Several other unnamed members of the Chicago Serve Pro crew also struck Tommy with rocks and crowbars. Killen's cousin said he was able to disarm Tommy and attempted to shoot him with a gun, but it jammed. Tommy was able to get away from the group and to his vehicle, striking other cars as he fled the scene. At around 2pm on Monday the 11th of December, US Marshals located Tommy in Louisville, Kentucky and he was taken into custody. He's currently being held at the Louisville Metropolitan Department of Corrections pending extradition on charges of murder attempted murder and leaving the scene. The investigation into the matter continues. On Sunday the 10th of December, 40-year-old Juan Nunez Luna was arrested and charged with attempted strangulation. At 3.28am that same day, authorities responded to a home in Idaho Falls, Idaho and reports of domestic violence. Authorities said that Juan dragged a woman down a flight of stairs by pulling her hair. He then dragged her into a bedroom and locked the door. Police said that he then tried to strangle the woman with both of his hands before grabbing a sock and then trying to strangle her for an unknown amount of time. Juan then grabbed a necklace that was in the bedroom and tried to strangle her with it and slapped her in the face. The victim told officers she was unsure if she lost consciousness. While speaking to the victim, they saw she had ligature marks on her neck as well as bloodshot eyes and small spots of bleeding under her skin, behind her ears and on her forehead. She also had defensive marks on her neck which she attempted to remove Juan's hands, the sock and necklace from her neck. The victim told officers that she was afraid for her life and thought Juan was going to kill her. Juan admitted to police to strangling the victim for approximately three to five seconds. He was arrested and booked into the Bonneville County Jail with bond set at $30,000. A no contact order was issued for the victim. If convicted, Juan faces up to 15 years behind bars. On Wednesday the 13th of December, 36-year-old Chad Puanches was found guilty of murdering his girlfriend Jennifer Powell in 2020 and was sentenced to life in prison. On the 6th of November 2020, authorities responded to the stage stop resort at 5131 East Silver Springs Boulevard in Silver Springs, Florida after a caller reported a man beating a woman with a baseball bat. When deputies arrived, they found Jennifer lying on the sidewalk with a large amount of blood near her head. Medics transported her to a local hospital in a critical condition, where she later succumbed to her injuries. Witnesses told investigators that Chad chased Jennifer out of a hotel room and struck her nearly 20 times in the head with a metal baseball bat. Officials reviewed video surveillance from the hotel that verified the witnesses' accounts. Chad was arrested the day after the attack. State Attorney William Gladson said today's verdict sends a clear message that acts of violence will not be tolerated. Chad will spend the rest of his life behind bars, an appropriate sentence that reflects the severity of this heinous crime. 18-year-old Charles Wage Blair is behind bars for fatally shooting 23-year-old Nyland Jurek Zion Pearson during a fight outside a party. The shooting occurred at 1.26am on Tuesday the 12th of December at a birthday party held at a home in Sherman Boulevard in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Authorities said that Charles attended the party with two underage girls and was asked to leave and take the girls with him. Charles and three other people left and got into a black car. Charles sat in the back seat. Witnesses told police that Nolan stood outside the car and started yelling at Charles and punched Charles in the mouth. Charles then pulled out a gun and shot Nolan in the chest. Nolan ran away from the party and stumbled into a nearby Speedway gas station for help. He was in the critical condition and medics transported him to a local hospital where he later died. At 12.03pm that same day, 
Charles was arrested during a traffic stop about 10 miles away in the area of Eby and Wilnock Roads in St. Joseph Township. Charles told police he didn't go to the party looking for trouble, and while interviewed he asked if he could call his mother. He repeatedly apologised to his mum and told her that he acted in self-defence. Police then asked Charles several questions about the shooting, to which he only replied no comment. He then made several comments that he knew he was going to jail for a long time. He was booked into the Allen County Jail and charged with murder and criminal recklessness. The investigation into the matter continues, 